Have you ever thought about how the very rich Rothschild family spends their trillions? It's a subject that makes people interested and curious. With all the money they've made over the years, you have to wonder what kind of fancy lives they live. Do they spend their money on cutting-edge tools or on expensive extras? How do they spend their money in a way that is both traditional and up-to-date? Are there hidden acts of kindness that change the world behind the scenes? Come with us as we explore the mysterious world of the Rothschilds, talking about the secrets behind their huge wealth and the interesting ways they choose to spend it. The Rothschilds, an old Ashkenazi Jewish family from Frankfurt, have a history of investing in their family's wealth and reputation. They bought the $85 million Planet NES super yacht, which is bigger than Pluto, which scientists have now decided can't be called a planet. Nat Rothschild, the grandson of Baron Edmund Rothschild, was an SPM and invested in the yacht, which has a VIP room, an owner's deck big enough to hold half of London, and nine other beautiful cabins for hosting events like the G8 Summit. The Rothschilds were sent to Great Britain to grow the Rothschild Empire, but Nathan chose to honor his father by building a house on top of one of the most expensive buildings in the world at the time. He changed the empty Gunnersbury Fields into a lovely park with a magnificent house in the middle filled with tapestries, art, and other nice things. When the house was sold 100 years later, it went for a crazy $132 million, which is the most expensive house in England that isn't owned by the Crown. It has a $25 billion portfolio, but compared to their other homes, it looks like an overcrowded dorm room with a shared bathroom. They have a large number of friends and family members, and they live in three different countries. Their chateau, which is an important piece of architecture in its own right, is evidence of their love of wine and art, both of which are visible in their home. In the year 1853, Nathaniel Rothschild, who was residing in France at the time, placed an order for a bottle of Chateau Bremuton, which was considered to be the best wine, had changed the name of the winery to Chateau Mutant Rothschild in order to improve the lives of the previous owners following the sale. The Rothschild family has always been known for producing some of the finest wines in the world. Nevertheless, they refrain from spending money that they are able to recoup in the long term. In the middle of the night, Baron Philip de Rothschild pondered the idea that art had the power to enhance the flavor of any wine, and he considered the possibility of selling art with the wine. For the past 45 years, renowned painters such as Francis Bacon and Pablo Picasso have paid to have their names engraved on the bottles, thereby transforming them into genuine works of art. The Chateau Mutin Rothschild is a beautiful blend of the family's most cherished interests and is worth about $10 billion now. The Rothschild's investment in their family's wealth and reputation serves as a testament to their commitment to investing in their family's interests and ensuring their legacy continues to thrive. The story of the Rothschild family who owned the Wilson Manor is a testament to their love for each other and their commitment to building an architectural landmark. The Rothschilds, who were once distant relatives, had a sister named Alice who was eight years younger than him. When they moved to England at 17, they broke up, but they continued to keep in touch through snail mail. After her father's death in 1874, Alice returned to England to be with her brother, Baron Ferdinand. The Wesson Manor became known as the Baron, who didn't skimp on building an architectural landmark, with Baron Ferdinand investing 1.5 million British pounds, about 265 million US dollars, in the property. Alice would grow up to become one of the world's most famous art collectors and powerful women. The Wesson Manor is now a museum about Alice's big dream, showcasing Baron Ferdinand and Alice's amazing art collections. The Rothschild's collection has so many priceless works of art that it could fill up whole cities, but for insurance reasons, the main part of the collection is only worth $2 billion. Some conspiracy theories and paintings from the Byzantine Empire date back to the time of William the Conqueror. The Rothschild have invested their money in various businesses, including Agora Oil and Gas, which was bought for $370 million when it was at the top of its field. The company has since grown significantly, with oil prices going through the roof after the discovery of oil in the North Sea. The COVID pandemic and Russia's visit to Ukraine have made this business seem like a gold mine on its own. The Rothschild family's love for each other and their investment in various businesses have made them a powerful and influential family. Their art collection, investments, and influence continue to shape the world today. The Rothschilds, a family with a history of banking and gold mining, have been a significant force in the world of wealth. In the 18th century, they had a bank in all of Europe's major countries, 
including the United States, Great Britain, Austria-Hungary, and Austria-France. Jacob Rothschilds set up the Rothschild Investment Trust to run and combine all of the UK's family banks, which are still worth more than $7.7 billion today. The Rothschilds also own several gold mines and gold bars, making their wealth from carrots. Rio Tinto, the second largest metal mining company in the world, is worth $103 billion and shows the entrepreneurial spirit of the Rothschild family. Edmund Adula Daruth started a comp financier at the age of 27, aiming to become the best interdealer broker in the world. After 50 years, his impact is worth almost $212 billion. In Switzerland, Edmund's son runs the business now. Benjamin the Rothschild has grown the business to more than 30 countries and may one day beat the most expensive investment. The Glencore Mining Company, owned by the Rothschild family, has 145,000 employees and has led to protests by 145,000 people due to environmental rules and mining restrictions. In Australia, the Rothschilds have significant power over the government, as they choose not to allow businesses that use coal in their country. Mega Corporation, which owns several mines and the world's largest zinc and lead deposit, is worth almost $13 billion. Despite the rumors about the Rothschilds, no other family is even close to the colossal Rothschild family wealth. However, there is one family that is about to become even more powerful and wealthy than the Rothschilds. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.